Normally, when a car company creates a concept, car people go, ooh, and ah, but then carry on as most likely it will never be made. Sometimes car makers announce that they will make the stunning concept, which excites car lovers. Then they crush us like you're crushing first year and say that they won't make it. So here are 10 concept cars that never made it into production. Toyota FT86 Convertible After seeing all the positive press Toyota received from the GT86, it seemed like a no-brainer to make a convertible. In 2013, a production-ready GT86 Convertible was revealed. A convertible GT86 seems like an excellent idea, especially in a market dominated by the Mazda MX-5. However, the project has been put on an indefinite hold for an unknown reason but some believe that it has something to do with weight. I guess we'd have to wait around. <laughs> Chevrolet Aerovet It's no secret that the father of the Corvette, Zohar Arcus Duntov, wanted the Corvette to be mid-engined. In 1969, Zohar made a sample which gained a lot of positive press. However, John DeLorean, the president of GM at the time, put the idea on hold, but he did ask Zohar to make a few refurbished samples. Zohar did just that. One of which had a 420 brake horsepower 4 rotor rotary engine. This will sadly all go to waste, as for cost reasons the Corvette has remained front engined. Ford Shelby GR1 Concept Cars don't get better than this. A V10 front engined modern day homage to the Shelby Daytona. First created in 2005, its 6.4 litre V10 produced 605 brake horsepower. It would do 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds and it would do 190 miles an hour. It seemed like the recipe for success. However, with the economic downturn approaching fast and hard in 2007, as well as the simple fact that Ford just couldn't make the numbers work, the GR1's chances of being produced were absolutely destroyed. Bugatti? I'm not even gonna bother. In 2009, Bugatti thought about replacing the Veyron with a high-performance four-door saloon called the uh, Galibar? Galibar? It shared styling and the W16 engine from the Veyron. Bugatti decided that the Nevermind would make it into production in 2015. However, the idea was dropped in 2013 and instead it was replaced with the stunning Chiron. But the CEO of Bugatti did say that a four-door saloon variant could be produced once the diesel gate scandal blew over. Audi Quattro Audi has wanted to recreate its Quattro legend for years. In 2010 and 2016, we saw two concepts which only made Audi fans beg to their god to make it. It would be based on the Audi RS5, but it would use the same 2.5 litre turbocharged inline 5 from the TTRS. It was believed that the 2010 concept would have a 6 speed manual transmission as well. In 2012, the limited production concept was shelved, but in 2016, we had a glimmer of hope with the Audi Sport Quattro concept, only for it to be cancelled again. Cadillac CN this badass supercar would have been the turnaround that Cadillac needed. The CN would have used a 7.5 litre V12 producing 750 brake horsepower. Its chassis was developed in collaboration with ProDrive and it appeared in a lot of Gran Turismo games. It would have been a real supercar slayer, however, it was never made. There's no real reason why it wasn't made, but I guess it was simply down to the cost of making it. Lamborghini Estoque Lamborghini and practicality don't go in the same sentence, but the Estoque was going to change that. It was going to have a V10, four doors and a big boot. It would have been a very good all-rounder. Lamborghini even said that they would make it. However, Lamborghini also said that they would make an SUV. Being indecisive, Lamborghini hopped on the SUV bandwagon and made the Urus. Celine S5S Raptor To expand on their one-car lineup, the Celine S5S Raptor was a V8 powered by speed and that. It would use a 5 litre supercharged V8 with 650 brake horsepower. This car would have been fast and loud. Its body was one of the best in recent memory and its engine would still hold a candle to modern day supercars. However, Celine was in serious financial trouble, which wiped out any chance of Celine making the S5S for good. VW W12 Nardo a supercar from VW was not rare, but in the early 2000s, a supercar from VW seemed like a reality. The narrow concept was a W12 powered supercar with 590 brake horsepower. On the 23rd of February 2002, 
A Volkswagen W12 Coupe took the world record for all speed classes over 24 hours at the Nardo Ring. It covered a distance of 7,740 kilometers at an average speed of 322 kilometers per hour, which is about 200 miles an hour. VW was keen to build it, and buyers were interested. However, VW killed the project, but instead we got the Concorde of cars, the Bugatti Veyron. Jaguar CX-75 The CX-75 was a painstakingly beautiful hypercar, which would throw a few punches towards the McLaren P1 918 and LaFerrari. It was unknown what engine would go into production, but the concept used two electric motors as well as two micro gasoline turbines. This would produce 780 brake horsepower. Between 2011 and 2015, Jaguar toyed with the idea of making it. They even had one of the villain's henchmen, Mr. Hinks, drive one in the Bond film Spectre. Once again, the economic downturn took its toll, and therefore destroyed any chance of the CX-75 becoming a reality. And don't forget, Jaguar is mainly focused on making electric cars now.